yeah, it's all uh, all come along well. Um, obviously, after the, the surgery went well, and I'm um, just starting to get into a, a few things this week, and then um, hopefully be running in the next uh, you know week or so, which would be nice. Are you confident you'll be right for round one? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Um, I mean, the, the doctors and, and surgeon and, and physio that we've got at the club are, are all um, all pretty confident that we'll be around the mark round one, and you know, I've probably proven that I've been able to get back from injury a little bit quicker than than what. Um, What's sort of the weeks to, weeks say with the doctors? So I'm pretty confident that round one's a, a big chance. When's your sort of timeline from here, mate? Like obviously round one, you're able to play. When you sort of hope to get back into some competitive stuff and uh, physical training? Yeah, I'm um, probably in the next you know um, five or six weeks. I'd, I'd want to be doing some start to get back out in the track and doing some running and obviously training. But then um, the physical stuff probably in the last couple of weeks. I think we'll be pushing pretty hard um, towards round one. Um, we'll probably leave it as late as possible, and then obviously smash it. Um, you know, with a couple of weeks to go, obviously crank that right up before um, before having to go out. To, uh, hopefully for round one. We saw it a few times last year, but are you confident that there's the, the guys underneath you that might be able to strike this stuff in the preseason? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we've got plenty of depth now at the football club, which is which is why we're starting to succeed as a football club. I think um, you know when you've got that that push from behind and, and players that can just step in and play the role, um, you know, quite easily. I think that's when your you, your football beca- becomes strong. And um, you start to get the wins on the board, which is which is what we sort of did last year. Obviously, we've got to go that one step further this year, and, and hopefully, um, you know, boys will be able to take take their opportunity in the preseason games and, and play some good footy. Before you hurt your shoulder, I mean, with Paddy arriving in the club, have you been training less, doing less sort of rough work at training and that sort of thing? Or? Yeah, it was really good. Um, obviously, Paddy's going to be be huge for the club, um, going ruck and, and forward, and just create that extra, um, you know, big man that we've got. But um, yeah, I, was, I, I spent most of my time down back, which was which was really good, starting to settle in as as a pure backman instead of being you know all over the shop. But um, you know, injuries happen, and you know, as I said before, you know, I've done it for the last two or three preseasons where I've where had much of a you know game build up, but still been able to get the work in my legs with with the, the physios and, and staff that we've got around the club. So I'm very confident that that you know they'll get the work into me and I'll be right around one. Just on how frustrating is it that you haven't been able to be out on the track all the time and, and mixing it with the boys? Yeah, it's pretty frustrating. I'm, I mean, um, as I said, uh, up to Ken, I was you know had PBs in most of my stuff, which I was you know re- really excited about. You know, putting a good year together, but as Ken said, it's it's going to hold you in good stead for the next few weeks, where I won't be able to do as much out in the park. But um, you know, you get that initial disappointment, but then you sort of move move on pretty quickly and work out what you've got to do to to get right and get back um, in with the boys as, as soon as possible. You're talking about one step further, is there anything you're different in terms of game plan you're doing this preseason, or just expanding on what was so successful last year? No, I think uh, every team. I, I think every team changes their game plan somewhat. Even if you, you do win the premiership, I think you got to find that extra notch because other teams are improving theirs and, and changing theirs. So we've definitely changed a few things. Only only subtle though. Um, it's not going to be a, a huge difference to what we produced last year. We'll just be looking to grow on what we did last year and, and hopefully do it a lot better than what we did last year. Um, um, just everyone from the outside thinks you're a real genuine premiership threat this year. You know, is that the feeling amongst the group? And you know, how close do you think you are from what you did last year to taking that next step? I think if you asked every team this this question at this point of the, the year, I think everyone would say they'd want to be going out there to win a premiership and, and we're no different to those other teams. I think we've got a long way to go. I think everyone sort of puts us in that bracket just because we had a good year last year. I mean, we're still a club that, if, if you look at us two years ago, we're, we're down the bottom of the ladder. So we've got a lot of proving to do and um, you know we'll go out there again this year and obviously we've got that, that real hard start to the draw so it's going to really set up our, our season early on in the season. Season. Um, but the boys are doing everything possible to, to be right up there at the end of the year. We're training really hard and obviously we're taking it up a few extra notches of, of what we have in previous years. Is that expectation spoken about within the group? Oh, not really. You hear, you hear about it, but it, it is what it is. I think everyone sort of pumps it up on the outside about how, how big and good Port could be. But, you know, if the boys don't put the work in, you know, on the track with the running, obviously in Dubai and, um, you know, in the next couple of weeks with the pre-season, then, you know, we won't be as good as what we were last year. So it's, it's a big emphasis on just improving out the track and then hopefully that that'll come into our game style. It's been a slightly shorter pre-season, obviously a slightly later start. Has it been, do you reckon it's been a harder pre-season so far collectively than last year? Yeah, I would have said so. I think um, Dubai, we, we, we pushed the envelope pretty pretty heavily over there and, and got a fair number, amount of Ks into the legs um, in a short period of time. So I think that, um, you know, when we come back, the, the boys have been smashed it this week and last week. So I think it's been probably, the workload's been a, a lot heavier. So we've been doing more Ks than probably what we did last year. Obviously, the, the shorter period um, makes the, 
you know, fitness coach and Burjo make sure that we, we do get those Ks into the legs. It's just a, a shorter time to, to get it in there, which is uh, it's always interesting. The shorter it gets, the, the harder it gets. So it's, it's all fun and games. And just personally, I think you went over to the tennis to see Thanasi's first round game. Um, what was that like as an experience? Yeah, it was awesome. It was a, it was a good opportunity for me to, to get out of Adelaide and, and go home and see my, my family. And then obviously um, the tennis was on. So um, Thanasi invited us down to, to spend the day with him and, and just see how they sort of go about it. It's quite different to, to football where we sort of go a couple of hours and get there and prepare where he's got to spend pretty much the whole day there. Um, you know, he's warm up hitting, has lunch there, has another feed after his after his hit, and then um, you know when the game's ready, the, the, the couple of games before him, he, he go, it goes on. So with without a set time, but that was awesome. It was, it was a five setter and a massive achievement for him to be. I think he was eleventh seed the, the other bloke. So he's only going to get better as as the years get on. He's very very excited for for us to have him on as, as an ambassador. Just the atmosphere on TV looked enormous. What was it like, courtside? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, um, I think any Aussie any Aussie player in the in the tennis gets a, a massive crowd. And I think it's a little bit different when the Aussies are playing to, to some of the other teams. They're a bit more quieter, but the Aussies were, were pretty loud when Thanas was playing, and um, you know it was a, it was a massive five set win for him. And I think that was um, it was huge. It was great to be a part of it. Cool. Thanks, boys. Thanks.